right, well, they say age is nothing but a number, but is it really? Award-winning journalist Joan London is getting candid about all things aging in her new eye-opening and hilarious book, Why Did I Come Into This Room? Hi, Joan. The title alone I love so much. Well, haven't we all done that? If you're 20-something and you walk in and say, why did I come in here? You like dismiss it. Oh, because I forgot it. But if you're 40-something or 50 or more, you say, "Uh uh-oh, is this the beginning of something worse and you know what almost always it's not it's yeah. not necessarily the beginning of dementia or alzheimer's it's just a natural symptom of aging because they they used to think our brain our hippocampus the part that has memory started uh shrinking when we were 60. they have since learned that it starts shrinking when we're 30. But i think the thing that scares everyone the most is not remembering things. What was the aha moment for you where you were like, you know what, I need to I need to write this book. I need to share these thoughts. You know, ages ago, it was really after my, this is my 10th book. After writing the first one, um, which is Healthy Cooking, I was, it was a great seller. And so the publisher comes back and says, write another one. And they offer you money. money. And I went to my agent and I said, what am I gonna write about next? He said, you will always write about that which you want to know more about. Mm. And I thought that was, and it's absolutely held true. I'll be honest, this book started out completely different. It started out about six years ago. I'll even tell you that the title was Live Younger Longer. Mm. And then I went through cancer. And the more I learned about it, I said, you know what? It's not about living younger. It's about educating yourself about how your body works so that you make the best decisions so that you live the healthiest you can possibly be off to the end of your life. That's really going to determine the quality of your life. And that like bells went off in my head, you know? Yeah. And as I started doing all the research and finding things out, I got excited about sharing them. And I've always worked with the writer, um, Laura Morton, and she's co-authored a lot of my books. And I went to her with this one. And I said, will you help me? And she said, I'm too busy right now. That was what I call a good friend lie. <laughs> She said, you can do this yourself. She said, and you're funny and you have to be funny. So when I gave myself permission to do that, it was so much fun. (laughs) You just had a birthday. I mean, how do you feel about... I've got got the big one now, don't I? (laughs) Yeah. I mean, but how do you feel about birthday? I mean, especially for some... Like for me, being in television... I was very, I, I, and I continue to be very secretive about my age. People may know how old I am. I never confirm it. I don't talk about it. What, <laughs> what, what's on Wikipedia is not true. Do you know what I mean? I'm so guarded of it because of the business that we're in. Yeah. And you, I, I know, you know, what are your thoughts on the way that women particularly are judged by a number? It can, def- it can determine whether or not you get yeah. a job or anything. I've been right there with you because I lived in the land of close-ups. And I have to tell you, I have a hard time wrapping my brain around that Mm -hmm. because maybe in some alternate universe, I'm turning 70 because to me, I'm like turning 50. You know, when you're married to your age, then you might say, oh, I'm like, I'm 58. So I can't do that anymore. Why? Yeah. Because somebody said that age couldn't do it anymore. So I put the book into mind, body and soul. So the mind part is about our concept of age and how it can really limit us when we think about what we can do with our life. I love the stories that you tell. Like, I love the uh, decline to decline chapter where you talk about, I don't know if it's your aunt or your husband's aunt Rosie. Uh, Oh, yes. I love that because it's a decision. A lot of times, I think a lot of women get to the point where they're like, you know what? I give up. I'm not working out anymore. I'm not going to, I'm not going to dress up. I'm just going to just give up. Right. I'm not going to try. A lot of times that does happen though, as, as we women get older. And the reason why is because they're experiencing all these things that I'm like putting out there saying, let's all talk about them. They're they're not taboo. They're experiencing them by themselves and the thing. And they think, Oh my, there's something wrong with me. I'm not as sexy. I'm not as feminine. I'm not. And Mm -hmm. here now we go down this road. I'm not as relevant. And it's a terrible path to go down. So, if we put it out there and start the conversation, we all understand that we're all going through the same thing. Yeah. It's just a great big, huge sisterhood. And we're all going through the same thing. We can talk about it. 
we can get help for a lot of these things. And we can also just laugh about it because it's going to happen to us one way or another. It's so funny, but such great information as well. I really do love it. Um, it's available right now everywhere books are sold. Joan, as always, thank you so much. It's good to see you. Thank you.